Pasig, we have Sariling Sikap uh, has built its own bike lane. San Juan has built its own bike lanes and Quezon City has built uh, some, if not many, major bike lanes. So kahabaan yata ng Commonwealth Avenue. Yep. Uh, itong 804 million, saan ito? Sa EDSA primarily? Because EDSA is about what? 20 kilometers going and coming. So that's 40 kilometers already. Uh, well, just to uh, quickly correct uh, what I mentioned, uh, Chito, no? Cito, mm. uh, the 814 million is for just uh, it's just NCR alone. Uh, mm. the, the, law, the law provides that uh, it has allocated or earmarked 1.1 billion pesos to create metropolitan bike lanes. So again, 814 for Metro Manila alone, 150 million uh, for Metro Cebu, and 150 million for Davao, Metro Davao. And yung binanggit mong uh, mga bike lanes naman sa San Juan at sa Pasig, these, are, these were built on local roads uh, where, where uh, the local government units manage this, this particular roads. And mm. uh, ito yung sinasabi namin, we recognize, we, we really appreciate, and, and, and we, we applaud all these local government units na nagsariling sikap na they took the initiative of protecting our commuters uh, by building these bike lanes. And now, what, what we're asking is for, for MMDA, for DOTR, for DPWH to start building the 814 million worth of bike lanes sa ating national roads naman. EDSA, C4, C5, uh, C6, and, and, and the rest of the radial roads. Has anybody explained uh, what the plan is, what is the timeline, or why the program seems to have gotten stuck? We have been uh, in, in close contact with, with the four agencies, uh, and, and uh, we've been trying to uh, set an appointment with MMDA Chair Ben Horabalos, uh, who has recently joined the, the, the agency. So we're giving him time, and we actually wrote to him already, and we're just waiting for his uh, feedback. And hopefully, he will, he will have time to talk to us uh, in behalf of the millions of commuters, not only working, residing in Metro Manila, but also those or yung mga mula sa karatig probinsya natin, di ba? Because oh. many of our, our workers do not necessarily live in Metro Manila, but come from 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 Bulacan, from Rizal, from Cavite. So hopefully, uh, when when we heard that Chairman Abalos uh, would listen to the mayors of, of, of Metro Manila as his bosses, sana uh, ma, 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 mapaalalahanan siya na the real bosses here are the more than 80% of commuters in Metro Manila that don't own a car, that they cannot, that they, that they don't uh, drive around using a car, but rely on our limited public transport and now active transport, walking and cycling. How many people have, have shifted to cycling from the start of the, of the pandemic? Uh, thousands and thousands of, of Filipinos in Metro Manila uh, decided to walk kilometers and kilometers, di ba? Nung, nung, nung isinara yung, yung MRT and then the buses. But now that we are slowly opening up the economy, uh, hopefully government will, will realize and, and accept that this is our new reality. This is the way to, to build a better normal. That active transport cannot be pushed aside sa gilid lang. You need to plan it properly and, and start it now. Uh, regarding now, so napag-usapan na natin, there is 814 million pesos for Metro Manila for protected bike lanes on national roads. Yes. May nakita ka na bang protected bike lanes since that money was de dedicated? No, uh, not, not a single kilometer. Uh, but but we got hold of this uh, update from DOTR that they have made 700, 700 meters of uh, pavement markings, pintura. So we're still waiting. For, for even a kilometer of protected bike lanes. Do we now have laws protecting bike riders on the road like they have in, Hol in, in the Netherlands and in other countries in America na mahagip mo, masagasaan mo ang bike rider, guilty ka, basta nasa bike lane yung rider? Uh, wala pa sito. Wala pa sa aming pagkakaalam na meron nang naipasang batas. Uh, to protect uh, cyclists and to promote cycling as transport. You know, there have been several bills filed in the previous Congresses, and now the current Congress, we more recently, uh, Senator Pia Cayetano's uh, Senate bill on, on safe pathways have been approved uh, at the third reading, uh, if, if, if I'm not mistaken. So still, 
uh, while, while we welcome this particular Senate bill uh, and the effort that, that has been put in by the good senator, uh, we, we really want to see a policy coming from government that will demonstrate their commitment to prioritizing people who travel outside of motor vehicles 